Sir, uh, what, what, what's uh, exciting about the Araneta City? That it is a city. Um, for a long time, we have been known just for shopping, just for entertainment. But as, as you can see, we have residences, we have offices, we have dining, uh, we have arena type entertainment, smart coliseum. We have intimate venues, for staff, like in New Frontier. Um, and then we have the texture of old uh, Araneta City. There are still old tenants here. You can go to the market, have your dampa. So it, we, we, we have, I think, all the components of being a real city, not an artificial or managed one. We, we have what cities have. Yeah. What led you to develop this kind of uh, city? We just call it what it is. We, we realize that we really have a city here. We don't have a center anymore, just because all of the uses we have here. And uh, what makes us specifically a, a going towards calling ourselves a city is, is that we have that texture, we have that offering. Um, of course, having multimodal transport is very important. But in terms of people being comfortable here, I think people will have their own com find their own comfort levels here. They will find uh, the things that will be they will be happy with, they will want to enjoy. We fully realize that uh, shopping or entertainment is a very personal experience. Um, we, we cannot dictate what they should enjoy. So we try to offer as much as options as we can so that they find that, that certain portion or that certain part that they will enjoy. Yeah. There are so many developments that you presented a while ago. So True. what what can people expect down the road like 2022 here 2022 uh, by that time gateway mall extension uh, i don't think it's proper to call it an extension because it's actually a lot bigger than gateway the original gateway uh, we're going to have the uh, ibis style hotel it's going to be the first in the country um, we are going to have another office building going and we're probably knocking something down to make way for something yeah Look, looking at the, the places right now, uh, in terms of the usage of the property, right. uh, it seems that there are so many potentials in the Araneta city. That's right. uh, would there be some things that, would, that should excite the public about the development that you, are, that you have in place? The thing about developing in, in, in well, we are constrained because of, of the roads, the streets. One thing that is goes for us is that we can always try and have the latest. Just because we are developing, some people may call it piece, piecemeal. I, I will call it developing in stages, such that we will always be aware. We will always be able to apply what is the latest market trend there. You see, we are just more than buildings. We, we are experienced. This is what old Cuba was, old Araneta Center was. It was all about experience. And, and that's the strategy and that's the objective that we will continue to focus. So this would be basically um, cater to both uh, the millennials and the baby boomers, uh, given the fact that it's fully integrated city? Yes, but, but by the nature, but by our sheer size, it will have to. We will have to cater. We cannot afford to neglect any market segment just because of the sheer size. We have to be able to be attractive to, to most age groups, uh, most social economic classes, just because of our size. We, we don't have the luxury of choosing who we cater to. Yeah, that's our size. That's 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 our challenge. Yeah, Christmas is fast fast approaching. Oh, yes, what what do you have? What do you have in mind? Well, again, we will go back to the homey feeling of Christmas. Um, I, I think that's what we have been popular uh, with, that we are able to impart a homey feeling, not only in our Christmas decors, but in our Christmas activities, so in terms of preferences, uh, in terms of connection. We, we, we don't normally turn people out. We want to be accessible to them. So w would you like to invite our viewers? Well, the Arneta City is here upon us now. Um, I think you've known this as, as a city before. It's only now that we're really calling it a city. We have always been complete with residential offices, entertainment, and shopping and dining. 
uh, we just call it what it is now. It's Araneta City. And this city is going to continue to grow and it's going to continue to be better and it's going to be appeal to your individual uh, taste and requirements.